I'm at Yarnfield for the UK Masters. The tournament is taking place at Yarnfield Park Training and Conference Centre, right in the middle of the surrounding area. Let's go inside. Through the automatic doors. Through the manual doors. Into the atrium. Maple and Willow are two conference rooms next to Costa. We're in Willow. The UK Masters is the most elite event in the UK tournament calendar. The top 16 players in the country play a 15 game round robin, followed by one round King of the Hill. Everyone is good. Everyone wants to win. Nobody wants to finish bottom. But someone will. Playing conditions are excellent. Plenty of light and good sized tables. The best players in the country have been attracted to the tournament, like Wildebeest to a flame. Nine Grand Masters and three experts, including the Chairman of Wesper, the governing body of World Scrabble, Mr Eli Dangour. We're about to start. The tournament director welcomes us. Everybody, start. Good luck. And we're off. Two rounds later is lunch at Costa, with table service for the less sprightly. Then it's back to the fray. But the fray brings misery. It's the end of round three, and I've lost the lot. I keep my professional composure in the playing room and return to my room to cry. The accommodation blocks are reached via covered walkways and are named after lakes. I'm in Derwent on the second floor with panoramic views over Coniston and the surrounding lawns. But what's that brown smudge? It's a rabbit eating grass. Look how happy he is. That's because he's not losing 3 nil. Four games later and it's time for dinner. I catch up with the chairman. And how's the Scrabble going? Terrible. Why? I'm sure it's seven. Oh dear. Time for some roast potatoes and other food. We have our own banqueting suite. The scoreboard confirms the chairman's plight, and I'm playing him next. A wounded animal is a dangerous beast and the chairman is no exception. With four tiles in the bag, I trail by 16. I miss the high probability bingo in column A, but play old score for 65 and the chairman's misery continues. One more game and the overnight standings shows the chairman rock bottom, while Alan Simmons has swept all before him. Simmons is a veteran of the tournament scene and an inspiration to us, the younger generation. We go to the bar for a nightcap. <laughs> it's morning of day two, seven games to go. A short walk away is the village store for newspapers and the Labour in Vain pub, which nobody has any time to visit. Game one's at nine o'clock, and I'm facing Simmons. I have three back-to-back -back bingos, Bonders, Goodiest, and Underage. But Simmons refuses to lie down and die. He hits back with Isle Men, Hadge, and Orc, 
to move into the lead. With two in the bag, I trail by five with this rack. Drawing on my in-depth and extensive knowledge of two-letter words, I play CH, a Cornish word meaning CH, for 48 points, and Simmons's winning streak is over. There are three more games before lunch. And this is what we're playing for. The Jules Rimet Trophy of Scrabble. Simmons remains in pole position. The chairman is contemplating a late rally. I look out of the window. After lunch, a master's tradition takes place. We repair to the Japanese garden for a team photo. Ow. All we have to do is line up, face the same way and keep our eyes open. Not difficult, really. With two rounds to go, I've nothing to play for, but I'm on the receiving end of a fantastic play by Gary Oliver. He's trailing by 60 with three eyes. Not a problem for Oliver, as he slots in Iliitis. A superb spot. And so to the prizes. The chairman has indeed rallied, winning three of his last four games but not enough to avoid the wooden spoon. And so to the winner. 14 wins and spread of one, one, four, nine. Mr. Alan Simmons. It's late, I'm by the water tower, I finished seventh but it's been a great weekend of Scrabble. Many congrats to Alan for winning it and I hope this has given you some insight into what the UK Masters tournament is like.